Hey guys, it's uh, Big Ron Parlo here with a vlog. Um, I haven't done one for a while, but I wanted to hit you guys up with with some more advice, or as Arnold says, advices. Um, a few things I want to talk about without going, you know, too long. You know how I tend to ramble, but uh, I've had a, a lot of injuries in the past year. Um, going back to about this time last year, uh, six weeks out from nationals, um, I tore my quad again up in the hip. Um, that was a mess, and I tore my hamstring the following week on the other leg. And then right between the Canada's and the Vancouver Pro, my shoulders both started hurting. And then after the Vancouver Pro, my shoulders both just deteriorated into like the worst they I've never had shoulder problems really a couple little you know injuries that recovered but they were brutal I couldn't do anything I couldn't press I couldn't do side laterals uh, I couldn't train biceps effectively I couldn't even do a push-up um, all I could do was pec deck for chest I just it was a like a helpless feeling it really sucked but for all you guys dealing with injuries, guys and girls, dealing with injuries out there, you know what I mean when I say guys, I mean you chicks too. Um, I didn't miss a single fucking workout. I was in there doing something, keeping the muscle firing, getting the blood in there, even if it was sets of 30 reps on cable crossovers with like a lightweight, you know, keeping the, the blood flowing through the chest, flowing through the shoulders. All I could do for, for shoulders for a long time was this one hammer side lateral machine like 25 pounds a side and i just do sets of 20 to 30 with a minute rest and just try to pump them full of blood and um even then i had to watch my range of motion because i had like an impingement on one side it was a fucking disaster and i thought i tore both my rotator cuffs i had to go get ultrasounds done and they were like ah there's no tears um you're just really inflamed and and there's a lot of, you know, problems in there. You just got to let it calm down. So I just, I did that all winter long, man. I couldn't press anything. I couldn't even press, I couldn't even press two plates on a hammer machine. That's how fucking bad they were. Um, you know, top that off with my knee acting up here and there, which is like an old injury. Um, I had like a brutal off season. Um, but by getting in the gym and still filling the muscle with blood and still staying on top of my nutrition and not missing workouts and still keeping the muscle firing and functional. I was still three on over 300 pounds. Um, I was still 305 at one point, 310 even, um, with no pressing for chest or shoulders and limited exercises for biceps. And, um, you know, it, it was, it was, uh, it was another learning experience. So for all you guys out there that that go through injuries like that. I know a lot of people, if they hurt something, I mean, obviously if you have like an acute injury, like a tear or a rupture or something, you got to rest. But if you got a flare up or something hurts or you can't do these five exercises, but you can do this one exercise, still get in there, keep things moving. That's how you get blood through stuff. That's how you, you heal. I think you heal faster when you keep things working than if you just sit around and do nothing. Um, there was a lot of, you know, uh, stretching and a, a lot of passive movement and uh, keeping the range of motion in there and um, you know lo and behold uh, after getting a lot of active release and Graston and uh, shockwave therapy done all of a sudden both my shoulders just poof, cleared up and I'm back to pressing heavy dumbbells on the incline I'm back to doing hammer machines I'm back to doing I even did some barbell inclines the other day um, side laterals with dumbbells now I'm training biceps almost unlimited exercises and you know it comes back fast if you keep it active while you're hurt you know um, if I would have just completely quit training chest and shoulders and maybe I'd be you know six months behind the eight ball right now but I kept things moving and kept them active so my advice to you guys is is to keep keep movements in there keep the the muscle firing uh, one thing I used to do when I was younger is like, let's say I hurt myself squatting. Then I would just take squats out of my program for a while until I was better. And then I'd put them back in. But when you do that, you have to like relearn the movement all over again. If you haven't squatted for four or five months 
and you put squats back in, all of a sudden you're back to kind of, you know, being uncomfortable again under the bar and your chest is a little tight and you can't get in there right. And then you feel awkward, you're leaning forward, you gotta get the movement back. But what I should have done looking back is, is let's say you got hurt on squats, after you do whatever leg workout you can do, just get an empty bar on your back and at least do the movement. Cause then your body doesn't forget the movement. It's neurological adaptation. It's just like when you learn a song on guitar, your finger is nowhere to go. And if you stop playing for a year, all of a sudden you suck. It's the same thing. So, you know, if you, if you want to be good at an exercise or you think an exercise is key to your physique and for some reason you're hurt, try to keep that exercise in, even if it's with no weight, even if it's just the movement. Um, I think that that will lead to a much faster recovery and, you know, getting back at the heavy shit, you know, a lot quicker. So I've had a lot of aches and pains and tweaks and, uh, and, and injuries. So I'm just trying to help you guys out. So stay focused, stay positive. Things will heal, man. Things heal. Your body's an amazing thing. You know, I thought I needed surgery on both my shoulders at one point in, in like October. I thought, fuck, this is it. Is this how it ends? Both my shoulders go. And now here I am in, in June and things are fine now. Shoulders are great. So you just got to stay positive and just keep pushing, keep pushing mentally. You'll get through it. Okay, guys, train safe, train like hell.